Hello. In this video, we will go through several troubleshooting steps that you might find handy while getting your um, getting the first time um, access to breaking point quick test. Now, one of the assumptions I made while doing this video is that you have already downloaded the breaking point quick test. So, if you have not and you are not into this step, you pro might want to go back to the other video where we uh, discuss about breaking point getting started. You basically need to go to the software download page in Xia and download the uh, breaking point quick test software. So this is where you can see I've zoomed into that exact software that you want to download for your chassis uh, and card, uh, whichever it's supported. And you can also download the user guide and release notes. Now getting back to this uh, console, one of the telltale signs that there is something wrong with breaking point uh, quick test once we have installed the quick test is the access to the environment and the chassis. So let's quickly go there. So I'm at the first screen of breaking point quick test. I'll quickly check the environment and see my chassis. So clicking on the chassis, it shows all red. The ports are all red, which is not a great sign because ideally the probe, the sign should be blue. And if you click on any of those ports, it tells you exactly the problem that it's uh, not really in that mode that is required for quick test. So let's see how we can, uh, what we can do about it. The first thing we'll do is get back to the main screen. I'm at the main screen and I will go to this chassis section. I'm at the chassis section and there are several things that we can verify. Firstly, we can go to the CLI and confirm that we are running the right IXOS version. If the right IXOS is not being installed, which you have downloaded, you can always go for uh, the CLI command show IXOS available updates to see what are the IXOS versions available and what is the compatible version for this particular quick test and um, install, the, install them. So if you find a newer version, you see the, uh, this has already installed the newer version, but you can always install a uh, version if you have a, a new version showing up here. So you can do that to install the right version for the quick test version that you're using and you will be finding that version compatibility matrix in our software side. So if those things looks right, then you can go back to the chassis management console. And what probably might be happening is that the card that you have that supports quick test may not be in the right mode. So for quick test to run, the card needs to be in the BPSC layer 47 mode. The BPSC stands for breaking point um, enterprise or quick test. So if we uh, change this mode, uh, so this can, depending on the version you're using, this can either read as BPSC or BPS QT. So you have to go back to that mode. Before you do that, you ensure that you clear all ownership. So if somebody was using this in the classic breaking point uh, and uh, you ensure that they, they, are, they have done using it, so you to be on the safer side before doing it, you clear ownership. So all the, uh, all the ownerships of the card should be cleared. Uh, and once you have cleared the ownership, you can move this to the breaking point uh, quick test mode. So go ahead and do this. Now, we will wait for a few seconds uh, or uh, now we will wait as the card comes up with the new mode. You will see this uh, rotation happening that kind of shows that the card mode is getting changed and we will see things being changing here. You can go to the logs to see what kind of uh, what's happening here. Uh, while the mode change uh, occurs. So it's a lot of interesting stuff, but it's uh, generally the mode change is fairly quick. So let's go back to the uh, to the chassis and see there. So I go back to the overview and I see the ports are getting refreshed and I see this mode is BPSC L47. So it can either read BPSC L47 or BPSQ L47. So that's, that's a good thing. So which means that my card has come to this mode. Now there can be some other issues even with this. If this doesn't get successful, the other thing that you can do is uh, force the what's hot swap on the card. So which what this will do is basically kind of reboot it and reset it so that you have a uh, everything is fresh. It will come back into the same mode. So um, that 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 should resolve that problem if uh, there is any. So let's go back quickly and check if I am now able to use the card. Now I'm back to this quick test screen. Let's go to the environment and see. Sure enough, the ports have now turned blue, which is good, which means the mode is now correct. So let's try to allocate some ports. 
what do we get here? We get another issue where it's saying that I don't have the license. So this is only applicable for customers, like in this case where they are running both classic and breaking point QT at the same time. They need to have ATI license, active ATI license for breaking point QT to run. So click on the breaking point screen and go back to the breaking point and from the configuration and administration ensure that you have right licenses installed. So I import the right licenses in the ATI to ensure that my chassis has licenses and go back and reconfirm. I'm back at the environment and sure enough now I see all the chassis uh, ports are blue and I can select all of them as I wish and run traffic through them. Thank you.